Hey friends, so this is going to be my 2023 goals uh, reading list. Um, let me just remove my medication out of the way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 2023 reading goal list, whatever you want to call it. I didn't set so many for myself, I only set three for next year. Um, so the first one is I want to read my own TBR because... It's not getting out of hand. Um, it's pretty manageable. I just, I want to read what I have there and um, pull, pull it down uh, more than what it was. When I checked during this year, I had like 80 something, I do believe. Um, I don't know how many there currently are. I don't even know where my book is. Oh, it's right here. So... I was starting my 2023 reading journal and I wrote down my own TBR. This page, this page is full, and then right here. So those are all the books that I own physically that I have yet to read. Um, so I want to windle down my own TBR. My next goal for myself is I want to read all the Goosebumps books that I own physically right now. Um, I didn't read that many Goosebumps books growing up as a kid, like hardly any. So I'm catching up on the original and then I'm doing, I have some Horrorland ones. And I'm also reading the new ones of the Slappy World ones. Um, so I need to do those. Uh, I don't know how many, I don't know how many I currently have to read. I want to say maybe roughly, maybe 20 or less, which isn't that many. But I do want to read the ones that I have not read. And, um, as many of you may know, R.L. Stein is my favorite author. So I do want to continue reading his stories. I do have The Last Return to Fear Street that I need to read. And uh, I want to read his book, Red Rain. I think that's his adult book. And then Temptations. Bonnie read Temptations this year or last year. So, or no, in 20, this year, in 2021, 2022, sorry. Um, and I want to read that. I have never read it before. I know it's one of his vampire ones. I do want to read that. So I need to get my hands on that to read it. Um, and then my last goal I set for myself is I want to keep on, keep up on new releases. Um, I didn't do that so much this year and the, um, previous year, but I do want to keep up on it. And the main books that I read in 2022 releases will end up being some Disney books because Serena just announced that she is dropping her next villains book and then Disney chills from uh, Vera Strange, a.k.a. Um, Jennifer Brody. She's dropping a new one next year, too. Those are my both my most anticipated books for next year. I'm obviously going to be reading some sci-fi. I might sprinkle in some fantasy. We'll see what happens. I do want to maybe read some more nonfiction because I don't read a lot of nonfiction, and I do want to read some more. Hold on one second. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Son was being extremely quiet while he was outside, so I had to go check on him. Anyways, uh, so keep up on new releases. And this, what I mean is I'm going to utilize my library. I utilize my library a lot, but I'm going to do it for new releases. I'll also do some back order back releases, of course, but I want to keep up on some new releases. So that will be in the genre of sci-fi, um, maybe a little fantasy. I do want to do some nonfiction. Um... Some graphic novels slash manga because I do like reading those. Um, I don't read a lot of poetry, so poetry won't be on there. Humor ain't, ain't going to be on there. And I'm not basing this off the Goodreads Choice Awards. I'm just saying I don't read those. I don't read classics. Like, I find classics to be kind of boring. Like, they make me fall asleep. The only ones I have figured out that have not made me fall asleep was Frankenstein and a little bit of Dracula. But that's it. Um, 
but those are my goals. I will have the, um, I made a little template. I will have it up next to my head. Those are my goals. Those are what I want to do. I have, as far right now, just two anticipated releases, releases, releases for, um, 2023. One comes out on July 4th and the other one comes out in August, which is, they are both Disney releases. One is the 10th book in um, D Disney Villains by Serena Valentino. She is releasing a Hades one. I cannot wait. And then the next one in Disney Chills by Vera Strange is going to be Scar. And I love Lion King. Lion King is my favorite Disney movie ever, hands down. And I can't wait for a Scar. I do want to put out there in the universe, I want someone to do a Atlantis. Nobody talks about Atlantis. Atlantis does not get it to do. I love Atlantis. I want Atlantis inside of a book, y'all. We need to get Atlantis inside of a book. If, it, if it's a Disney's villains, if it's a Disney chills, if it's something, come on, people, write an Atlantis book, please. I really want an Atlantis book. Um, but that's it for the video. Remember to be kind to each other. Be safe out there and always go on your next book adventure. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. If I could begin to be half of what you think.